Hey basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. Today I'm coming to you from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. It is absolutely freezing outside. So don't think that by me wearing shorts and a sweater, it's not cold because it's really cold. There is snow on the ground still, it's still winter, but I am running out of videos, so I am freezing so that I can help you. Anyways, today I wanna to show you some of the simplest basketball dribbling moves that you can do that can create space so that you can get rid of a defender who is playing you extremely tightly. Let's get down to it. Okay, so this first move you can do, whether it's on a, on a press that, uh, defense that's coming towards you, or if you are just in the half court alone trying to get yourself an easy basket and that is the reverse dribble. And there's a few reasons why this is very effective. For one, the way you set it up is to go as fast as possible forward and then to take one to two dribbles backwards without crossing your feet like I just did. So you can go as fast as possible forward, stop, reverse, and then cross over and then go in the opposite direction. This is gonna help you beat a press because in a press defense, they're trying to force you towards those sidelines. And that's one spot you do not wanna go. You wanna go up the middle of the court because that gives you the greatest visibility going down court. If you're stuck along a sideline, you have one side of your body to pass to. If you're down the middle, you have both sides plus forward, which is exactly the way you want it to be. It's gonna help you get the ball down the court faster, easier, less turnovers. But in the half court, there's a reason why you wanna do it as well. So in the half court, what you wanna do is try and drive towards the middle of the court, towards the net. The reason why you wanna do this is because when you're driving towards the middle, of course, Again, same idea is in that half court press or full court press, you have both sides of your body to pass to, and then you can go straight forward for a basket. In a man-to-man -man defense, what your defender is gonna try and make you do is to dribble in to a double team, or he's gonna try and nullify you by pushing you towards the sideline or trying to trap you in the baseline in the sideline corner. And against a zone defense, they're trying to keep you out of the key and try to keep this ball out of the key. And so by using a reverse dribble, by driving, reversing, crossing over, my hands are freezing right now, and to drive towards the rim, it's gonna help you be able to score and get more assists. My hands are absolutely freezing right now, but at least this ball is keeping air, which is fantastic. Now, another move is very similar to that reverse dribble, but in this move, you're just gonna stop, and instead of reversing your dribble, you're just gonna go and drive, come to a jump stop, and cross over. And basically, what you're looking to do here is to have your defender keep on going in that direction, cross, and then you've got yourself, hopefully, an easy layup. You can do this in the full court as well, but when you're in the full court, that reverse dribble is really useful because now you've created space between yourself and the defender. You can pass or you can keep on driving. While with this move, it's more of an attacking move where you're attacking, let's say left, you cross and then you can go and attack the rim and it's gonna help you score a lot faster. It's a quicker move. It's not necessarily a move that you would use in a press because you're not gonna be looking to pass, you're looking to drive and to score. Okay, so now this next move I'm gonna show you is called the hang dribble. You've probably heard me explain this to you on this channel once before, so I'll just go over it really briefly. What a hang dribble is, it's kind of a two-sided move where you can use it to continue to drive towards the rim or you can use it to take a shot. So, number one is to drive towards the rim. You can be driving at full speed, you can stop and then you can continue without picking up that ball and without moving your hand underneath that ball. So to do the hang dribble, you're gonna be driving, you're gonna stop and then you're gonna continue. Now, the reason why you don't wanna put your hand underneath the ball, I know in street ball you'll see this move a ton and players are gonna be driving, they'll carry the ball and then they'll continue. But in a game, you don't wanna have your hand 
more than a quarter of your hand below the halfway mark or the imaginary halfway mark of the ball or else it's a carry and that's a turnover. So when you're doing the hang dribble in a game, you wanna keep your hand on top of the ball and then you can continue. Now the shooting aspect to this move is you can do the hang dribble, take your two steps and then shoot. Now, the reason why this one works is because if you're doing the hang dribble and then driving a few times, let's say two to three times in a game, and then you do the hang dribble, they know you're gonna be driving, so they're gonna be taking more, maybe one or two more steps towards the rim because they know you're gonna explode off of that, and then you can go into your shot. It's a very effective move, and it's a move that I use myself still to this day in game. Now this next move can be used when you're driving towards the rim, or in the low post. I personally myself use this move in the low post for one reason and that is it creates space because it freezes your defender. It's going to make your defender think that you're spinning the opposite way than you where you're actually going. So in the post I like to get that ball and go shoulder fake and then up on that right side. That is my own personal move that I like to use, but you can do this on the drive as well. So on the drive, what you can do, let's say we're driving left, what you can do on the drive is a quick shoulder fake and then go, and you can do that dribble, what I just showed you there, really quickly. So it makes people or players think that you're actually gonna do the spin move and you'll be driving towards the rim, but in reality, what you're doing is you're driving on that left side, you're doing a shoulder fake, and then you're gonna continue in that left side for a layup. Now, this was an extremely cold video to make. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe to kind of compensate for my freezing this right now. And of course, if you have any comments, let me know below. I would love to hear from you. If you have any subjects or things that you want me to cover, 100% comment below and check out my Instagram, Al's B-Ball. You can ask me personalized questions there as well. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day basketball video.